Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I have not done a summer hat haul for a long time or a sun hat haul, whatever you want to call them. So I thought it would be fun to do a review try on haul today, which I haven't really bothered with my hair today because it's going to get messed up. I'm going to do everything from like really giant oversized floppy straw sun hats that are foldable and packable to kind of super cute styles for that are more structured for doing brunches to fedoras and baseball caps and kind of every summer hat style I could think of because they're one of those hats that are kind of like an essential if you're going on holiday or at the pool or want some sun coverage but there's so many different styles and different price ranges so I kind of wanted to show you a bit of everything and which one kind of each style has its use for so I'm going to start with because it's one of my favorites the giant floppy oversized sun hat so this hat is actually from Amazon Amazon actually has some really really good summer hats I want to start like this because I want to show you a lot of the time when you're packing and you're trying to do a vacation sun hat the issue is that how the heck do you get it in your suitcase without absolutely destroying it because a lot of the floppy hats are kind of more of that or that they're floppy but they're still structured and you don't want them like too all over the place so not like a crazy woman but um can i say that um this is cool if you want extra sun protection it's also really fun for kind of pictures you can get some really really cute pictures in this hat as well it is a bit extra and it doesn't do well in the wind because it kind of blows away i want to kind of go through all the pros and cons of each hat as well so Pros of a big giant oversized sun hat. This one is foldable, it's packable, lots of sun protection, cute for pictures, not great if you're on a boat or anywhere that's like super windy because it will blow away. The other thing I love about this, it does have adjustable strings on the inside because it is kind of one size fits most. And then this, you can kind of, what's cool about it is you can kind of shape it to how you want it to fit. So if I'm walking, I tend to fold it up for obvious reasons so I can actually see where I'm going or if I'm eating so I can see the person I'm talking to. And then if I'm actually kind of like, if I want more sun protection, if I'm sat there and I wanna keep my cocktail or wine in the shade, you can kind of fold it down. So it's one of those hats you can kind of really have fun with, play around with the shape, do whatever you want with it. That's why this one is like one of my favorites. It's just it's cool um, and I don't really go in the sun much so I live in Vegas and I say I don't go in the sun much I like a lot of sun protection and I try and cover up as much as possible and let's take a look at kind of the next kind of floppy hat that's a little less extra and a little bit smaller and a bit, bit more of a classic floppy hat summer hat style if you are looking for a really classic summer floppy straw hat this is kind of the style I would say to go for with the kind of the normal size rim where it's kind of not too narrow like this is obviously a lot of a narrower brim it's i love a ribbon detail on it i mean this is removable as well you can put your own in to coordinate with your outfit it's just one of those classic styles that never goes really out of date and it's still going to give you a decent sun protection so the only thing with this hat is i feel like with straw hats they're not necessarily worth spending a lot of money on and i'll tell you why it's because i feel like they lose their shape really really quickly and sometimes when you've gone on holiday and you've gone shopping you don't want to bother bringing it back with you because they're quite hard to try and pack and keep the shape of them as well i do tend to when i pack them i tend to stuff my bikinis or swimwear in here to try and hold its shape a little bit as well so that's a packing tip for these but i think splurge or save with these unless you're going for a really good quality one and can carry it in a hat box or st store it really well I would definitely say to kind of like this is where to save money and just replace them every year or leave them behind on a vacation. Really good classic style though. If you are going somewhere hot and sunny and want more sun protection, Amazon, it was brilliant for these. These are both offer UPF 50 sun protection. Now they both look really, really similar. I wanted to get these two from Amazon just to compare them because they were both the same brand. They're both SBF 50, but I feel like sometimes hats you want to see on your head. I wanted to get something as well for a city break. So when I'm walking around, if I'm walking around in a giant sun hat in Europe, in the middle of a city, they are packed and it just takes up too much space. I'm so sure I end up not being able to see anything, crashing into people, just being really annoying in a big hat. So a smaller one is much better. These are also both packable. You can roll them, squidge them up, do what you want with them. So that is another awesome factor to these. So that's one of the things I look for now. If I know I'm traveling and I'm not just lying at home by a ball in them, 
Packable is definitely a really, really good. I'm always like, that giant sun hat's great for being on the beach or taking pictures, but I'm not gonna walk around a city in it. And if I'm packing really, really light, these are obviously gonna go a lot smaller. So this is the first one. What I liked about it is, she said it has detachable straps, which I thought was kind of cool. So if you're on a boat and wanna take it off and put it around your neck, if you're worried about it blowing away on a windy day, I think that's kind of a really cool feature to have without having them on all the time, because personally I don't really like the look of the big black straps, which do have the adjustable chin strap, and obviously adjustable chin strap's really, really good if you kind of want to tighten it up when the um, breeze starts to blow in. Could try and figure out how to do this without damaging my nails. Oh, there we go, wasn't too hard. And again, if these are adjustable as well, it has the inside. These were definitely under, I think these were definitely under 50 bucks, so um, like I said, Amazon, so free shipping, free returns. And I wanted to try two just to check out the different sizing. And these did come, I believe they came in different sizing. Oh, and there's adjustable Velcro there, not just straps to get that. But obviously you're gonna wanna get that out of the way and fasten it so it doesn't pull out your hair because that would be bad. Okay, so this is the first style. So like I said, I'm not a big fan of these. I, they get they serve their purpose, but I don't love that. I do really like the size of this. I think this is such a cute size. It needs obviously where it's been in the, it needs kind of getting that crease out or it's been in a box um, being shipped to me. But this is such a good size for just a bit of sun protection for walking around cities. I think it's too small for a beach or a pool day, but just for like walking around every day, it would protect your head. I always seem to burn my part when I'm on vacation, especially if I do like a center part or a parting and a bun, it always ends up burnt there and then I peel there and obviously got dandruff. So that's a really good option. This is a narrower brim. So let's try a big floppy straw sun hat. The only thing with this one is these aren't detachable, they're built in. Pros, great, I'm less likely to lose the straps because they're in there. Cons, I mean, you have to tuck it up inside to kind of hide it. It has the same Velcro to a, adjust it at the back and it's the same brand as Fur Talk, which I've never heard of before. 80% paper, 20% polyester. Obviously do not iron or tumble dry. Wouldn't have tried that anyway. Okay. So I'm not a fan of this one. This is just not the right shape for my head, but it almost kind of looks like a cute little safari hat. Again, a great city hat, right? Because it's not taking up too much space. It's no wider than your shoulders. So you're not being an obnoxious person in a big hat. And it's still giving you the UPF 50 coverage, which will probably create a lot of protection on your face, but not on your shoulders or chest. So this is a no for me, but if you want something a bit smaller or you've got a smaller kind of head or frame, this might look cute. And again, it was foldable and packable. Woo, she's getting crazy hair. I told you I wasn't gonna bother styling it today for that reason. Another style that's a really good classic for a summer sun hat is the straw fedora. I feel like it does kind of go a little bit in and out of fashion. And it's definitely more one of those I would kind of wear for every day, going for lunch, going for coffee, than necessarily a pool day. They look super cute by the pool. The only reason I'm saying that is because it doesn't really give you a lot of coverage or sun protection or shade. So I feel like it's definitely more of a fashion piece than a sun protection piece, but they are really lightweight to travel and pack with. Again, the issue with packing these is most of them aren't foldable, so they are kind of harder to deal with if you're traveling with them, but they're a great one just to keep at home for the summer. So that's the kind of like the fedora I like. I like it in the neutral color. I like the light colors for the summer as well. Obviously, probably the most casual and essential of like the summer hats, I would say, is a baseball cap because I like them for being in the water in the pool because I'm not worried about getting it wet. I can wear it. I can tie my hair up in a ponytail with it. It's a lot more casual. So I'd wear that kind of like with a romper, with denim shorts and a tank top, splashing around in the pool, running around errands with my hair in a ponytail. It's just a lot more of a casual look. And the great thing about these is they're super easy to pack and throw in your case. So really good. I just think they're always like kind of a good summer hat essential. And then it doesn't really matter about the brand. Obviously, this is Bellman because I kind of wear it, I don't know, wear it more every day than like just for being super casual, casual. So I kind of, that's why I liked the brand and I get so much wear out of it. But if I really didn't care about the hat, 
I would get it on being in chlorine or the ocean. I do tend to wear it on my cheaper, just kind of non-branded hats. If you can find one with SPF protection, UPF protection, even better. So the last summer hat I want to share with you, because we did the summer straw hats, we did the floppy hats, we did the fedora, the big oversized giant hats, the UPF protection. The last one I kind of want to show you is more of a fashion piece. And it's this one. It's like my new favorite hat. This is by no means what I would count as a summer hat essential. It's more of one of those fashion pieces, a statement piece. I don't think I would be packing this necessarily to take on vacation because I'd be too worried about this getting damaged unless I was wearing a sun hat. But I do just love it for having like, I love pearls in the summer. I love bright white in the summer. This would easily elevate any outfits. It's not gonna give you a ton of sun protection, but it's keeping some sun off of my eyes. I literally have the worst fine lines and wrinkles around my eyes from being in the sun too much in my 20s. I lived in the Caribbean for nearly 10 years and my eyes in Portugal and my eyes here are just not good. So big sunglasses and a hat. That's why I have such a huge sun, a hat collection now and sunglasses collection. I did not think I was a hat girl. And then when I just redid my closet, I realized how many hats I have. And I pretty much wear them all summer long. So I can't link this one or share with you the brand because it doesn't have the brand in there and I don't even remember where I got it. I think it was a gift from a brand or a giveaway or something, but I love it when they've got words on there. I think it's super cute, especially if you're going on an all girls trip or if there's a few couples of you going away. I got one that said Mrs. when um, there was another couple went away with us and it was just cute. Like for the girls to wear, we did like cute little shit shot in the ocean and it's one of those things you create memories with and this one obviously says explore but i think i also always tend to go for this shape for when i'm going on vacation and this color i wouldn't normally do the blue band like i said i normally do black and change it out because it goes with everything but i just i'm gonna go to see it when i'm sure i've struggled to see everyone but i still love this shape it just think it's so classic and elegant it's not gonna go out of style if you're worried see if i go for words like this it'd be like one and done for a vacation the other ones that don't have the words on i would kind of think you can wear for everything black white cream especially with the ribbon or a removable ribbon so you can switch it out to coordinate with your outfits you know i like my matchy matchy styles Okay, so they are my summer hats. That's my sun hat recommendations, try on review haul. If you have any comments or questions, drop them below. I love hearing from you guys. I'm gonna link all of the products that are still in stock or at least they were in stock when I made this video in the description below. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a quick thumbs up and subscribe.